myself mayank sharma today we will discuss micro encapsulation and its techniques under following contents we will discuss micro encapsulation introduction to micro encapsulation reason for micro encapsulation coating materials coating material properties required techniques to manufacture application and its references introduction micro encapsulation may be defined as the process of surrounding or enveloping one substance within another substance on a very small scale yielding capsules ranging from less than 1 micron to several hundred microns in size it is a means of applying thin coating to small particles of solid or droplets of liquid in dispersion particle size basically ranges from 50 to 5000 microns two phases it consists of core material phase and a coating material phase it can be seen from a here typical structure of a micro encapsule inner is called as core and the outer is called as a shell synonymously micro encapsules are also called as microspheres coating granules and pellets morphology of a micro encapsule mononuclear polynuclear and a matrix type reasons for micro encapsulation for sustained or prolonged drug release for masking taste and odor of many drugs to improve its patient compliance for converting liquid drugs in a free flowing powder to reduce toxicity and gi irritation incompatibility among the drugs can be prevented by micro encapsulation the drugs which are sensitive to oxygen moisture or light can be stabilized by micro encapsulation process coating material <coughs> list basically divides into four water soluble resin it consists of gelatin gum arabic pvp cmc methyl cellulose etc water insoluble resins contains of ethyl cellulose polyethylene poly polymethyl acrylate cellulose nitrate silicones etc wax and lipids consist paraffin wax carnauba wax beeswax stearic acid etc resin enteric resins shellac zinc cellulose acetate thallus etc coating material properties it should provide a stabilization of core material it should be inert to active ingredients it should have control release under specific condition it should be fill forming palliable tasteless stable it should be non hygroscopic it should not have no high viscosity it should be economical soluble in aqueous media or solvent or melting the coating can be flexible brittle hard thin etc techniques to manufacture physical methods consist of air suspension coating coesorbation process pen coating and spray drying chemical processes solvent evaporation and polymerization first we will see air suspension the air suspension instrument looks like something this the air suspension process offers wide variety of coating material candidates for micro encapsulation it consists of dispersing the solid particulate core material in a supporting stream of air and being coated with a coating material usually a polymeric solution coesorbation phase separation general process consists of three steps under continuous agitation formation of three miscible liquid phases chemical phases deposition of coating residualization of coating three miscible phases are liquid manufacturing vehicle phase core material phase coating material phase the coating material phase formed by utilizing following methods temperature change by addition of incompatible polymers by non solvent addition by salt addition polymer polymer interaction etc pan coating instrument looks like this pan coating uh, solid uh, particles greater than 600 micron size are generally considered for effective coating it is used for preparation of control release beads coating is applied as a solution by atomized spray to desired solid core material in a coating pan usually warm air is passed over the coating material as a coating material being applied in a coating pan spray drying and spray congealing method schematic diagram of a spray dryer is this the spray drying coating solidification are affected by rapid evaporation of solvent in which coating material is dissolved spray congealing consists of solidification is affected by thermally congealing a molten coating material the solvent of the removal of solvent is done by sorption extraction and evaporation techniques solvent evaporation method the core material is dissolved or dispersed in a coating material solution with agitation mixed with a liquid manufacturing vehicle phase heating is done if necessary then the evaporation of polymer solvent that is used and final encapsulation is produced 
polymerization the method involve reaction of monomeric unit located at the interface existing between a core material substance and a continuous phase in which the core material is dispersed the core material supporting phase is usually a liquid or a gas and the other polymerization reaction occur at the liquid 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 gas uh, solid liquid and a solid gas interface example in the formulation of polyamide that is a nylon polyameric reaction occurs at a liquid liquid interface existing between aliphatic diamine and dicarboxylic acid halide applications of micro encapsulation to improve the flow properties example is thymine riboflavin etc to enhance stability example vitamins to reduce volatility of material example is peppermint oil and methyl salicylate to avoid incompatibilities that is aspirin and chloramphenicol to mask the unpleasant taste and odor example is aminophylin castor oil to convert liquids into solid castor oil to reduce gastric irritation nitroferentine and endomethacine drug applications can be seen of microencapsulation in a wide field medicine veterinary household and personal care biotech pharmaceuticals chemical industry agriculture waste treatment textile photography printing and graphics electronics feed food etc references these are the references thank you